The woman accused of threatening a family with a bat and a gun is out of jail tonight. Bridget D. Girolamo posted bond last night. Chris Nakamoto talked to her neighbors and has more on why frustration has reached a boiling point. Sylvia, neighbors tell me flooding has gotten worse after a new development went up behind them. Despite frustration, they are not condoning the actions of their neighbor, who apparently took the law into her own hands and it was all captured on video. First of all, don't curse them. It's an alarming video of a mother and school teacher apparently holding a baseball bat and a weapon, upset at Demetra Turner Lewis and her family for driving down her flooded street. This neighbor watched from her house, incredulous about what was happening right in front of her. You still ain't gotta be in the truck, man. I know. I was just worried that something might escalate because she was very upset because she was trying to stop the, the cars from coming from both ends. And um, I, it, it just escalated from there very quickly. Your wife hit our car. I'm finna call the police. Down 911. Demetra Turner Lewis's quick thinking daughter hit the record button on her phone. Is she didn't pull a gun out on us, y'all. Safety Spot and Rouge Paris Sheriff's deputies showed up at their home to get the full video. Video that is a central piece of evidence in the case against Bridget DiGirolamo. The family says DiGirolamo hit their truck with a bat before getting a handgun. Her husband attempted to ask us, um, he spoke with my husband and asked, uh, would we consider dropping the charges? And I said no, because, I mean, the gun could have gone off and I could be dead, anybody in the car could be dead, and she needs to understand that that's not the way you do things. Turner Lewis still shaken when she talked to us about what transpired in her subdivision. Oh, oh, get in the car, man. A situation that could have easily turned nasty. We don't play with guns and threaten people because if we had a gun, it could have been another different outcome. But to witness my child seeing this and screaming and I'm outside of the car, I don't know her state of mind. I don't know. She could have shot me. Perhaps what caused DiGirolamo's frustration to bubble over is what her neighbors say they just went through this past year. The last flood, um, she had to replace, that family had to replace everything. They renovated the whole house and, uh, I mean, everything. And they put a lot of work into it and I know they were very stressed about it. To DiGirolamo's house to see if she wanted to talk, no one came to the door. Although none of her neighbors are defending DiGirolamo's aggressive actions, they do think the city parish should be more proactive with drainage to prevent the common occurrence of their street flooding when it rains. There was no time to even really get call anyone to get any barricades up because it just started coming up so quickly. Her life wasn't threatened. Turner Lewis says she intends to pursue the charges all the way to prevent DiGirolamo from ever doing this again. This is crazy because I've never witnessed anybody acting like that. I mean, the streets were flooded all over. The East Baton Rouge Parish School System is DiGirolamo's current employer. They said they have launched an investigation and any decision will be made pursuant to district policy.